What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Plio and today I want to share with you all my strategy to defeat the Turks in crash difficulty. Let me tell you I'm a whale but this was still one of the most difficult fights until now. Honestly, really tricky and I'm not even sure we will manage to do this in the first try. I have more or less memorized the fight already but still there are so many surprises. There is one key item that you're going to need, and it's a soul gun, because you need physical defense increase, ideally up to high. Then after that, you can work around this. Uh, I'm bringing Shiva X1 and Bahamut X2 with Protector Blade that can do AOE magical DPS. Doing magical DPS in this fight is totally needed. That's why we're in the magical meta right now. So. We start the fight, I move to Barret, and then I do some bio into Elena, see if it works. Yeah, fine. We can also do the Brave, but um, for now we do bio. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And um, the reason behind that is because I want to start doing some damage to everyone. Now she heals, and then we're going to try to do another bio to Reno, see if it lands. It didn't land. Fine. Uh, this is basically where we have three waves. Okay, we have three waves. Uh, first is Elena, then now is this one, Reno and Ruth, Trox Bro, and then a third wave with Reno and Elena. Right. So we want to heal and then get ready for the third wave, which is coming now. And now start saving ATB because after this wave, you are going to go into a seal phase. So save, heal, heal, heal. And now save ATB as much as possible. Go into attack mode so that you feel the bar. And then the, in defense mode in the last second. Nice. Cool. So this hits like a track. 5k and then another 3k or something. Yeah, 3.3. So almost there already. Now, it's good to bring the brave for things like this. But now we're going at attack mode. Believe in yourself. And then start breaking seals. Cool, cool, cool. First person, Relcan. Now last one, Reno. Yeah. D don't heal, don't heal, just attack. Now, now you want to do as much damage as possible to Reno now. And then after that, you will heal. But before that, you want to do damage, damage, damage. Heal yourself in attack mode so you continue doing damage. And the thing is, like, here it's really important that do, to focus on the damage that we do on Reno because, well, there's this phase coming up. You want to do extra heal. Um, yeah, the Brave really helps here. Now we save ADV because we need two things. We need agitation and we need a single target Cura or Curaga, fine. Nice, and after this fight, we go into Aegis phase, which is the most important phase of the whole fight. And the reason why it gets really tricky, because well, first we pop the limit breaks. Um, I throw an attack before because I wanted the ATV to count. There you go. Limit breaks. We want to hit everyone with AOE damage. And here you don't want to heal in defense mode. You want to heal in attack mode. At least that works for me. And then you want to take as much time as possible in this stage. So what do I mean by that? Um, Aegis is going to stay there. Okay, there is no rush here. So we have plenty of time to do things. Okay, so we're gonna do magical defense down to Druid and then with uh, maybe bio sometimes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, bio again, then attack, then magical defense down. So the key thing is that you don't want to deplete this bar quickly. You want to take as much time as possible. And that's why I'm, I brought so many shields so that they can be shielding. Because this AOE damage, you need it so that you hit Reno and Ruth at the same time. So you want to kill both of them at the same time. That's why this fight is so tricky. Because your AOE, the AOE damage needs to be on point. Your debuffs needs to be on point, And everything needs to work in, in harmony. And um, it becomes really tricky to make everything work in harmony and beautiful. Right, we buff ourselves on Eevee. Sometimes happens that you kill one 
before the others, so maybe sometimes you kill Ruth before killing Reno, and if that's the case, Reno will go into Berserker mode and will try to one-shot you. So that's why it's important that we try to do both at the same time. If you kill Reno first, then Ruth will go into a Sigil phase, which is also tricky, to be honest. Um, so in any scenario, <laughs> we're going to make things more complicated if we don't kill both at the same time. So yeah, take your time, put some bio there, heal yourself in attack mode, again, magical defense down, and then let, the, let your DPS do your DPS things. Nice, Reno is really that damage. Cool, cool, cool. Buff yourself on EB. Nice. Cool. We're going to do another... No, we're not going to do anything because we're going to save ATB. The Aegis bar is almost depleted. So in the next hit, he's going to deplete the bar. And then... Yeah, almost, 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 almost. Okay, I'm going to do one bio. The, thing, the reason why I'm saving ATB is because as soon as he depletes the bar, we want to swap to Reno, point target Reno. He's going to stun. Yeah, now he has, because Rude is stunned, he has magical defense down up to uh, with three ticks. Now with the two ticks, magical defense down with two ticks, we pop all the limit breaks. And this should wipe Reno exactly. And with the next one, it should wipe Rude as well. And then after that, if you manage to do that, you get into a semi-DPS race that is going to turn into a DPS race really quickly. So we're going to do bio, attack, DPS, more DPS, more dots, more DPS. Nice. Now, uh, magical defense sound doesn't work here. I made a mistake. But, so, but bio, bio does work, okay? So full life against three units, okay? It should be possible but don't be like still like you need all your focus and all your attention here so first of all remember the basics physical defense up to high and then all your life um heal so that's the basics if you start like going berserker you might die in one of these places like it's about rinse and repeat okay heal nice then put some bio dps Defense up, and then we're gonna heal again, and then we attack again. Nice. Now maybe you can also do some, for example, the brave. Maybe you know you get less damage. That's fine. That's nice to have. Cross combo, cool. Uh huh. We're gonna. I'm gonna wait until the buff disappears. Now I buff myself again, and then yeah, single target cura. Nice. Yeah, you really want that single target cure. If, if not, you might not survive. Cool. She's buffing herself again. We're going to try to take the, you know, buff down. Buff yourself with, yeah, Frenzy stun. Buff, buff yourself, buff yourself. Then DPS thing. Don't mess with the Turks. Okay, so the DPS race is coming. Uh, and this is, this is fine. Like, uh, at some point, your units will die. And you need to be ready for that. Like, as long as... Um, Okay, cross combo is coming. Heal yourself. Single target cura. Maybe we can do another single target cura. We will see. Uh, let's try to do physical defense. Ah, uh, oh, it was not possible. Okay, so maybe this is like, uh, yeah, it, it was 65k. I, even if uh, with physical, you know, <laughs> even it would have been a, you know, like death. Okay, so we have Shiva. Nice. Nice, got you now. Yes, it's gonna do. It's gonna one shot uh, Barrett. That's completely fine. Look at this. Look at this. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Whew. That was tough, eh? That was really tough. Extremely challenging. Uh, you need to really rinse and repeat. You can do uh, ten times per hour. So I have done. Honestly, I have put more than five hours in this fight, just trying to understand the ADB management, trying to really understand my composition, my weapons, I have tried multiple things, and for now this one works for me. Now, let's go into aim death review of the whole thing, right? So I'm bringing bio, statistics, with um, Druindra, of course, like you need to break um, cross, sigil, 
Uh, Mithril Rod really, really helps here. Magical Defense is not needed. Lightning, Lightning Resist is not bad. Uh, and then Heal. I'm bringing the basic uh, Healing Wind. Let me break, because for me that's the work. And then I'm bringing this outfit that also boost my heal and my magical defense. Magical defense is not needed, but boosting my heal feels nice. Then, guard stick that boosts heal and boosts limit break potency, where heal is the only thing that matters. I'm bringing Twinkling Star simply because it gives me HP 40. This is one of the weapons I totally recommend leveling up because it's just so good and boosts physical ability potency. It's not bad, but it's not going to do anything. Same here, Power Soul is only here because HP 40 is really good to have. Um, and then, yeah. My DPS, it has the main outfit, Lethal Style, the best outfit for Sephiroth, in my opinion. Then it has Aonibi to buff himself and then Protector Blade with some stat sticks where the key thing is bring your Rindra. You don't need any fire materia. You can see that I have one here. It's... Um, I thought I needed it, so realistically I could replace that with something that increased my magic attack to make the fight even easier. At the beginning I thought that I might need some fire, you don't need it. Sub weapons, the classics and umbrella, one of the best sub weapons for magical DPS users, magical attack and magical ability potency. Then nameless helps a lot here, boosts HP 40 plus lightning resistance, and then finally Mithril type Zero Katana, another one of the best sub weapons for magical DPS, boost HP and boost magical ability potency. Lastly, or, Ma or oh, sorry, Barret, <laughs> I was gonna say Matt, Hellhouse Cannon. This was a free weapon on one of the events. If you play the event, you have it. If not, you will be um, you will need to use another strategy. Uh, for example, another thing that could work here is perhaps bringing more AOE damage with Flame Projector or the new Electro Cannon that does Electro Damage or something around those lines. Um, I haven't, I have tried, but it didn't work for me as good. As sub weapons, I'm bringing uh, HP, uh, basically Crew Kicker, Fire Potency. Mm, we don't even use Fire Potency, so. Then HP and buff and debuff extension, this is really good. One of the best sub weapons as well for healers and off tanks, off uh, support units, etc. And then lastly, I'm bringing a slick beetles, which again, is not about the crit potency, it's about HP. Uh, I really wanted to have 12k HP, 11k HP and 10k HP. I really wanted to have as much HP as possible. So that was it. Wow, what a tough fight. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot for watching. Honestly, thank you because I, I have a lot of joy creating these guides, these uh, videos, and uh, it makes me really happy that some of you watch it. And, you know, if you have fun with it, then I have even more fun. So thanks a lot for watching this content. If you found it useful, please uh, consider subscribing because that would really help me make better content in the future. Also, maybe leave a comment or a like. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate you all. My name is Plillo. Until the next time, cheerios! Bye-bye!